Our solar system is a place of wonder, filled with planets, moons, and other celestial objects. Scientists are constantly making new discoveries. One such discovery involves Charon, Pluto's largest moon. The Hubble Space Telescope recently detected carbon dioxide on Charon. This finding has excited the scientific community. Carbon dioxide is often associated with life on Earth. It raises questions about Charon's history and composition. This discovery highlights the importance of continued exploration. Pluto, once considered our solar system's ninth planet, was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. This decision sparked debate but also highlighted Pluto's unique characteristics. Pluto is a small, icy world located in the Kuiper Belt. Charon, discovered in 1978, is Pluto's largest moon. The same side of Charon always faces Pluto. Charon is an intriguing world with an icy surface and rocky core. Scientists believe Charon formed from a giant impact early in the solar system's history. The Hubble Space Telescope, launched in 1990, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Orbiting high above Earth's atmosphere, Hubble has provided us with breathtaking images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and planets within our own solar system. Unlike ground-based telescopes, Hubble is not hindered by atmospheric distortion, allowing it to capture incredibly sharp and detailed images. Over the years, Hubble has made countless groundbreaking discoveries. It has helped to determine the age of the universe, confirmed the existence of supermassive black holes, and provided evidence for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Hubble has also played a vital role in studying the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system known as exoplanets. The telescope's recent discovery of carbon dioxide on Charon is a testament to its enduring legacy. Even after more than three decades in space, Hubble continues to make remarkable discoveries that expand our knowledge of the cosmos. It is a true marvel of engineering and a testament to human ingenuity. The discovery of carbon dioxide on Charon was made using a technique called spectroscopy. Hubble observed Charon as it passed in front of a distant star. As the moon passed between Hubble and the star, some of the star's light passed through Charon's thin atmosphere. By analyzing the spectrum of light that passed through Charon's atmosphere, scientists were able to identify the signature of carbon dioxide. This discovery was unexpected because Charon is a very cold world, with surface temperatures estimated to be around minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 223 degrees Celsius. At such low temperatures, carbon dioxide should be frozen solid. The presence of carbon dioxide in Charon's atmosphere suggests that something is causing the gas to sublimate or transition directly from a solid to a gas. One possibility is that internal heat from Charon's core is warming the ice, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Another possibility is that the sun's radiation is causing the ice to sublimate. Section. What does this mean for Charon? The discovery of carbon dioxide on Charon has significant implications for our understanding of this distant moon. It suggests that Charon may be more geologically active than we once thought. The presence of an atmosphere, even a very thin one, opens up the possibility that Charon may have weather patterns or even a hydrological cycle, albeit one based on volatile ices rather than water. The discovery of carbon dioxide also raises questions about the composition of Charon's interior. If internal heat is responsible for sublimating the carbon dioxide ice, it suggests that Charon's core may still be warm and potentially active. Further observations and analysis will be needed to determine the precise nature of Charon's internal structure and the processes that are driving its atmospheric activity. Section 6. Charon compared to other moons. Charon is not the only moon in our solar system that has surprised scientists with its unexpected activity. Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, is known to have geysers that erupt from its south polar region, spewing water vapor and organic molecules into space. Europa, another of Jupiter's moons, is thought to have a vast subsurface ocean of liquid water, potentially containing more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. These discoveries have challenged our assumptions about where life might exist in our solar system. While the surfaces of these moons are incredibly cold and inhospitable, their interiors may harbor conditions suitable for life. Charon's recent activity adds it to the growing list of moons that are changing our perspective on the habitability of our solar system. Future missions to Charon. The discovery of carbon dioxide on Charon has fueled interest in sending future missions to this intriguing moon. A dedicated mission to Charon could provide detailed measurements of its atmosphere, surface, and interior, shedding light on its geological history and potential for harboring the ingredients for life. 
Such a mission could involve a spacecraft that orbits Charon, allowing for long-term observations of its atmosphere and surface. The spacecraft could also carry instruments to study Charon's gravity field, providing insights into its internal structure. A lander could even be deployed to the surface to analyze the composition of Charon's ice and search for signs of past or present life. While no missions to Charon are currently planned, the recent discovery of carbon dioxide has made it a more enticing target for future exploration. As we continue to explore our solar system, Charon is sure to hold many more surprises in store. Expanding our horizons. The discovery of carbon dioxide on Charon is a testament to the power of human curiosity and our insatiable thirst for knowledge. It is a reminder that there is still so much we don't know about our own solar system, let alone the vastness of the universe beyond. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we are constantly challenged to expand our understanding of the laws of physics, the origins of life, and our place in the grand scheme of things. Each new discovery, no matter how small, brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. The future of space exploration is filled with promise. With advancements in technology and our unwavering spirit of exploration, we are poised to make even more groundbreaking discoveries in the years to come. Who knows what wonders await us as we venture further into the cosmos?